بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Continuing from the ten etiquettes, we're on etiquette number three, which Sheikh Saleh Al Usaimi, حفظه الله, compiled uh, etiquettes which we should strive to bring into our lives, things that we do on a daily basis. But if we do it in the proper manner, we'll be following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We'll be following the ways of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He goes on to say, "الثالث سم الله في ابتداء أكلك وشربك قائلا بسم الله وكل بيمينك وكل مما يليك وإذا فرغت فلعق أصابعك وقل الحمد لله." This third etiquette pertaining to when an individual is eating or an individual is drinking, and the etiquettes that he should follow while doing these actions. This particular etiquette has many components to it. Sheikh Saleh, he goes on to say that an individual should recite or say the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the beginning of eating or drinking by saying Bismillah. Individual can generally just say Bismillah, start in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he's drinking or as he's, as he's uh, uh, eating. Or generally just say Bismillah. Uh, or he can recite one of the supplications which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam recited. For example, Bismillahi wa barakatillah. Bismillahi wa barakatillah. And there's many other, many other versions which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us. Or an individual can just simply say Bismillah, or he can say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, or anything of the like, but st starting with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ya Ghulam, O son, O young boy, Sammillah wa kul bi yaminik wa kul mimma yalik, advising one of the young companions, Ya Ghulam, O young boy. O oh, young child, O oh, little one, Sammillah, say the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Say the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In one, in, in one narration, it said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Ghulam, Qul Bismillah. O oh, young boy, say in the name of Allah. Say, I start in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can say Bismillah. He can say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. He can say any other variation of uh, uh, the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as he starts with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Razzaq. Uh, Bismillah ar-Razzaq al-Kareem. Or whatever individual chooses to or whatever individual wants to say as long as he starts with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second etiquette starts with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon eating, upon drinking. Wa kul bi yaminik. You eat with your right hand. You eat with your right hand. If you're eating uh, with your hands, you eat with your right hand. If you're eating with a utensil, you use or you hold the utensil with your right hand. If you're drinking something, you hold the cup, you hold the glass, you hold the mug, you hold the, 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 the tumbler, you hold that with your right hand. Yes, if an individual for one reason or the other cannot use his right hand, physically he cannot use his right hand or whatever have you, uh, for some reason or the other cannot, absolutely cannot use his right hand. Let's say, broke his right hand. Uh, right hand is paining. Cannot use the right hand. That individual, obviously, he's, he's excluded. He can use his left hand to consume his meals. Although an individual should not have a feeble excuse, only if an individual can absolutely not use his right hand. Why? Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did tell us, وَكُلْ بِيَمِينِكَ Eat with your right hand. When you eat, eat with your right hand. Third thing he goes on to say, وَكُلْ مِمَّا يَلِيكَ You eat from that food which is right in front of you. You eat from the food, you're eating, in a, you have food in a plate. You eat from that which is in front of you. Obviously, if there is a variety of different foods, uh, you have a platter, it has uh, chicken, it has meat, it has lentils, it has rice, it has vegetables, and they're all surrounding, they're all in different parts of the plate. An individual is at liberty and it is permissible for that individual 
to take the meat from here, take the chicken from here, take the lentils from here, the, 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 the salad from there, the rice from there, as an individual pleases. But if it's all the same thing, if it's just a tray of rice, and it's all the same thing, evenly distributed, individuals should eat from that which is in front of them, from that which is in front of them, and then make his way through the remainder of the plate. And then he goes on to say, وَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ And when you finish, فَلَعَقْ أَصَابِعَكَ Lick your fingers. Lick your fingers. Now, if an individual is eating with his hands, lick his fingers. Why? Because an individual does not know where the barakah is, where the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Where the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. And not just that, the utensil that an individual is using. Uh, the spoon, the plate, individuals should wipe that clean as well. Individuals should perhaps not lick it clean with your tongue, but use your fingers to go around it and clean it in a nice, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a proper manner. Uh, in such a way that there's no wastage of food and an individual partakes in all the barakah that there is and all the blessings that there is. Um, one more point uh, in regards to saying the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon completing, up, upon, upon, uh, upon uh, uh, starting your meal or starting the, 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 the drink, one of the narrations of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we find out the shaytan, he says to his companions, when an individual enters his house without saying the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we found a place to spend the night. And then when that individual sits down to eat his meal, and he does not say the name of Allah, Shaytan says to his, his, his companions, not only have we found a place to spend the night, but we've also found ourselves a meal as well. We've also found ourselves a meal as well. But if an individual does say the name of Allah upon entering the house, does say the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon consuming his meal, Shaytan says to his companions that we don't have a place to eat, we don't have a place to sleep either. We don't have a place to sleep and we don't have a place to eat. Then uh, Sheikh Saleh al-Usaymi, he goes on to say the last etiquette in this particular etiquette, in, in, in the third etiquette, which is, re, which is pertaining to uh, consuming your meal or drinking water. وَقُلْ أَلْحَمْدُ At the end, an individual should, should say أَلْحَمْدُ He should say أَلْحَمْدُ He should praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserves to be praised. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserves to be praised. In regards to licking your fingers, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was such, <coughs> and this was the personality of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, and the bond that he shared with his, with his wives. The Prophet ﷺ, when Aisha radiallahu anha, she would drink from a utensil, the Prophet would find where she drank from and he would try putting his lips exactly where she had put her lips. And when she would eat meat off the bone, uh, the Prophet ﷺ would try to find where she, her, her mouth was placed and he would try placing his mouth exactly there as well. In one narration, in regards to licking the fingers, the Prophet ﷺ said, Either he, either an individual should himself lick their, his fingers or their spouse should lick their fingers. And this is a sign of, of love. This is a sign of muhabba. This is a sign of, and this is a way of increasing the love. This is a way of increasing the love. Um, sharing a meal together. Sharing a meal together. Using the same uh, uh, utensil. Uh, using the same, eating from the same plate. Um, sitting together and eating, using the same glass to drink water out of. This is all things which we are taught by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is a way of increasing the love that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed in our hearts. Increasing that love for each other. The reality being that nowadays it's such that every individual is eating, uh, ha having breakfast, having lunch, having dinner at different times throughout the day and no one has it together. Even though everyone, let's say, has the time and, and, and if there is some coordination, it can be easily achieved. Yes, at times, uh, children are at school, uh, husband and wife are at work or whatever have you, 
and every individual is eating on the go, but at least one meal a day, whether it be at night, waiting, you know, wife comes home early or husband comes home early, waiting to have the main meal, waiting to have the dinner uh, as a family, waiting to have the dinner together and making a habit of that at least. Um, in such a way that there, you are spending time with each other on a daily basis. You are spending time with each other, TVs off, talking with each other, enjoying time with each other, that quality time, and this will increase the muhabba, this will increase the love that we have for each other. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to practice upon these etiquettes, bring these etiquettes, bring these I bring bring these bring these sunnahs of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam into our lives. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.